Hello everyone, and welcome to Little Nightmares 2. I know you guys have been itching for me to play this game ever since I finished the first one, and honestly, so have I. The first game gave me so much inspiration with its imagery and its tone, because I feel like not only did it have a really unique art style that I had said at the time sort of reminds me of illustrations in children's storybooks, but it also had an approach to storytelling that is pure emotion. And much like the little nightmares that might be conjured by a small child. And I feel like people think that dark imagery like this is sort of a contradiction, a juxtaposition with childhood innocence, but it's not. I mean, because children are so imaginative and they have no framework for how the world works. When they're hiding under their covers in the middle of the night, staring at their open closet, well, who's to say somebody like the chef or the granny in the water isn't watching back? That's the world they live in, and that, that's sort of the logic that we get to experience as we play as these tiny little characters running around like mice trying to survive in this world. Also, if you don't want to wait between episodes, this entire series is already up on the Patreon right now if you subscribe to the $5 tier. Uh, there you can not only get early access to the series, it's been up for about a week already, but you can also see exclusive videos that aren't available on the main channel. Now, the scariest thing so far is a seemingly first-person perspective. I'm not used to seeing that in a game like this. But I am used to seeing such a door. Does this take place within the mall? Oh, wow. Well, night just turned to day in a big hurry. And what was going on with that TV? I can see more in the background. Oh, but I see the art has not suffered one bit. Look, we can see every little fold in our jacket twirling in the breeze as we move around. All the leaves falling and the grass swaying. This is beautiful. Now, the art always was the selling point of this series. Uh, I'm pressing F. It doesn't seem like we have any other light. Maybe we'll get one? I'm sorry, I'm just keeping my eyes on that blurred background, making us feel so small. <laughs> because I just know that at some point, something, some dark silhouette is going to move around back there. I hear flies. Flies don't generally indicate a good discovery in the near future. Okay, we're going to have to jump that gap. So maybe we can get into a sprint. Oh, look at you, like, tilting your back downward as if you'll become more aerodynamic. What is down there? Oh, it's like some kind of black sludge. Is I can't tell if there's, like, some kind of creature leaned against it or if that's just rock. Gross. Oh, and I definitely recognize this as one of the cages from the Maw. Uh, can we grab with our hands? Uh, clicking just seems to make me climb up. Uh, we still can. We've got to pull this back. There we go. And we can crouch with control. Once again, crawling around in the vents. Although not really vents, which makes it kind of odd that there's a grate there. Hmm, I'm sorry, this is just a very different environment from what I was expecting. But I can see that the more things change, the more they stay the same. Oh no, these are like the shoes that are collected by a certain armless someone. 
can climb up here. I really hope it's not going to call upon me to jump onto that sack full of actually normal-sized corpses. So who are they? I've always wondered about what the state of this world is actually supposed to be. I mean, I know there's like tie-in comics and stuff that probably explain it a little more. But the children seem small, even by child standards. Like, I always compared them to mice. I see you also have the ability to survive falls from great heights. And that is quite clearly a trap. Yep. That also looks like it might be a trap. That looks like uh, maybe there's some punji stakes down there or something. I don't know. It just really stood out. But I see the physics-based puzzling has made a return. Can we push you down? Eh, there we go. Just please don't fall on me. Uh, and we can probably drag you back this way. There we go. Now, sometimes the perspective is a little bit wonky in games like this. It's going to be hard to tell where things are. But I think we should be fine. Uh, why aren't there just, like, things dangling all over the place? Boxes and crates? I can see even more in the background. I'm just... I just don't trust this whole scene. It's clearly not just a different setting altogether, because we did have traces of the Maw in that intro... Oh no! Run! 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 Oh, go! 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 Indiana Jones! Indiana Jones! Indiana Jones! Oh, I probably had to go there. Ow! Yep. And crouch. No. Maybe if I do the crouch slide as you bounce. Oh, I actually was supposed to. Then why would you put that there? Why would you put that there and clearly make it look like I'm supposed to? Okay, fine. See, we're probably going to have to swing across that, but how are we getting up there? Uh, maybe we can climb up this log. There we are. Come on. Come on. Come on. And, yep. Yeah. I actually always really liked these swinging uh, objectives in the previous game because you would think it would be hard to square with the perspective, but there is just enough of a snap-on that it all feels really natural still. That's another one of these. Okay, so if we leave you... Nope, we need to pull you up a bit more because we're using you as a staircase as well as a jumping-off point. And you'll... Oh... I see, the counterweight will slowly raise you. Well, that's alright, we made it. Uh, that doesn't look like a jump we can make. But maybe we can climb up the boards. Actually, maybe we can also climb the rope. Yeah, let's see if you'll grab on. No, you will not, but we can maybe still do this. Ah, yes, there we are. And I see, as always, uh, it, it sort of gets life from having animations and things that you wouldn't think to have them. I mean, it may seem a small thing, but it really makes all the difference in the world just having those little creaks and depressions as you climb up those boards. Okay, what is that goop? Because you're clearly treating it as like a stand-in for gore. Yep. So we can throw things with space. That's a trap. So maybe we can... Yep. Yep. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But at least we learned we can trigger them prematurely instead of just having to jump over them. Uh, which I feel like might be a little finicky with the hitboxes. There we go. Well, I would love to activate that. Oh, that stuff is being used as bait. Bait for what, though? Bait for me? Doesn't seem like something I would like to eat. Uh, but then again, in this universe, we're just eating all kinds of stuff we wouldn't like to eat, aren't we? All kinds of stuff. 
still mad. Can you maybe do something with that stick? Uh, I see. We can probably use it to... Yep. Oh, we can slam it down. Interesting. Wee! <laughs> Look, that, like, flutter of leaves as we land in the pile. This... Okay, we're back. We are back. Uh, but I do not trust places like this to not contain traps. Especially since I can hear what sounds like the creak of metal. What are these, like pine cones? If I throw you in there, will you reveal something awful? Yep! So that's kind of what I was thinking. What about this way? Yep. Hello? Uh, is that supposed to happen, or is that a glitch? I don't know what to think, because it's this game. Are there any more? Mm, we can make that. There we are. Uh, and we can make that other jump. There are surely other traps in between. Yep. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, you're barefoot too. That's gonna bother me a lot, just like it did in the last one. Yep. Because these are not friendly environments. And I can practically feel the texture now that I've noticed that detail. The grass probably feels nice. The rest, eh, maybe not so much. A little bit of daylight breaking through. Which means this is where it's gonna introduce the big scary threat. No? Well, there's still time. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at those bird houses up there, or at least bird feeders. And a whole lot of traps from the trapper. I think we're going to learn who's been setting these things and why. Well, we're a little short to try the handle, so maybe we introduce ourselves through the window and not even a pie. What kind of cartoon world is this? Uh, Resident Evil 7, apparently. Can we open the oven? No, but we can close it. We can also hide under the table. Uh -huh. Should I maybe not be making noise like that? Will that perhaps draw someone's attention? Well, let's push through. No, going back that way, I can hear like a faint piano tone. Uh, but is that is that in game or is that the soundtrack? I think it's in game. Hang on, how much exploring can we... How much exploring can we do here? I recognize those hats. I recognize them, and I don't feel good about this one bit. Ooh, but we can get a hat of our own. Oh, equip collected hats in the pause menu. We can actually get collectible cosmetics. Hang on, let's see this. Uh, there we go. Oh, and you do actually have a face under there. That is so cute. Uh, hang on, wait. Let's see what you look like. Uh, you're not going to let us see. You're going to be just as featureless as the previous two protagonists. Uh, I'm going to hold on to this for a while just because I think it's so adorable, but uh, maybe we'll switch back to the classic look. By the time you see this, I'll have completed this entire series, so there won't be much in the way of, like, input. You squeeze on through there. What are those photos pinned to the wall? A 
all this dust on the air, or is that meant to be like sheared wool? And skinned hides? <gasps> it's another kid! Hang on, we'll, we'll try to get you out. Oh, who am I kidding? It never goes well in these games. We got a string ball. Hang on, there's got to be something. I see a cleaver in that box over there. And an axe right there, although sadly too big for us to use. Come on. Snap. Well, that's unfortunate. Can we at least pick up the handle? No. Well, we can climb up here. Perhaps we can... Get over to this end. Look, those fabrics even depress under our feet. This game is amazing. Uh, but we can't climb up onto the shelf. There's stuff in the way. Uh, what about you? Uh, there we are. That was so dangerous. I'm sorry. It's just, uh, when I play these games, I cannot see them for what they are. All I can see is like, no children in danger. All right, here we are. Coming to save the day. Oh, we're like Pyramid Head. Yeah, I know it's scary. Here's Johnny! No, but seriously though, I have come to save you. You've been trapped here for some time. I'm sorry we couldn't be friends, but I still don't regret helping you. So what were they keeping you for? I mean, it seems strange that they would keep you alive and not just immediately skin you. Or whatever they do with you. I mean, so far we've only seen like wool and animal pelts. What's the utility in keeping you around? I hope I haven't just sent you to your death, but... Knowing this game, I know this game. Come on, I just want to be friends, please. They're back. Whoever they are, they're back. <gasps> oh my god. They're dead. Or, I think so. I can't tell if they're dead, or if they're constructed from stuff that was never alive to begin with. I'm sorry, I can't stop staring. What is... I have a feeling this, these are some backwoods horrors, even by the standards of this world. I can't help but realize you look a lot like the, like our protagonist from the DLCs. <laughs> but it seems you've encountered a problem you can't solve on your own. Teamwork makes the dream work, buddy. The sooner you learn that, the better. That's what I was thinking. I'm sorry, I feel like I missed what I was meant to do. I had to hold down click. You get up here, and by our powers combined, we are free. And also soon to be dead because he will definitely have heard that, so maybe get up a little faster. Please tell me you're coming. Thank you. Seriously, begin following whenever you please, because we don't have a long look at these masks and mannequin parts. I don't know if it's better or worse how ambiguous it is how much of those people was actually organic. Oh, I see. We'll have to work together to push this thing. Oh, that's so cool, because I realized that this is sort of a dual protagonist role of a game, and so it's cool that they're expanding on the best parts of the DLC. There's the brass ring, and there are the captured people. Actually, the only normal proportioned full-sized adults we've ever seen. 
It's still weirdly proportioned compared to us, but it's still a first, even if you can get over the fact that he's keeping bodies in his attic. Alright, where's... Where's the lever that we need, the wheel that we need to crank? Uh, actually, can we go under here? No. Can we climb up? No. Maybe we can boost up. Yes, just what I was thinking. Thank you. Yep. Don't worry, I'll be right back with the solution. Putting a lot of faith in me. Oh, no freaking way. No way, now I understand why you volunteered to be the one that stays behind and keeps watch. <laughs> Although I do appreciate in horror games when they set something up like this, blatantly knowing that you know that they know what you want to do. And you just have no choice! It's not wool, it's stuffing. Or I suppose it could still be wool, but either way, these are dolls. Which begs the question, why are you keeping real human corpses? Because, you know, we can't gloss over the fact that this is no less horrifying. In fact, the ambiguity makes it even worse. Alright, I got your thing, no thanks to you. There we are. But yeah, I, I see that the storytelling is still coming from a very similar place where- wait, that just raises that up. Oh, I see. We probably have to climb up the rope and then make the jump. But I see that it's starting from a very similar place where it's- it doesn't exposit anything to you. It just presents the story in such a way where you can look around and just intuitively get it. Like a dream. Or a nightmare. Or a Little Nightmares too. Yep. There we are, and then... Nope. Good, I thought I lost it for a second there. Oh good, you're not going to make me carry it the whole way. Uh, carrying things always reduces our mobility and makes things more difficult in a pinch. Uh, but that surely goes to the padlock that we saw to the neighboring door. Only problem, there's certainly going to be a very angry individual waiting for us. Ah, uh, we can pull out this drawer. And climb on up and over. Alright, you and me versus the world, buddy. I would like for it to stay that way. Actually, wait. Is there- ow. Is there a possibility that you are actually six? Because all, all the promotions I've seen of this game, all the screenshots, had us working with six rather than whoever this is. Uh, maybe, maybe we just didn't get to see your long hair before because of your raincoat. Right, let's open this up. And we're out. Unless Shrek is going to come bursting through. In which case, he'll just squish us instantly and end our torment. Look at the size of those shoe prints. Maybe we can unprop this door on the way in? No, we can't have that foresight. Maybe we can push. There we go. Now this thing must be empty and not as heavy as it looks. But that's as far as we can go for some reason. So you get up here. I'm really- I know you're probably tied to me, but I'm really hesitant to move too far without bringing you with me. Uh, as usual, breaking our fall with the most disgusting thing imaginable. Something's over there. He's in here. There's our first glimpse, and my first instinct is to let go of the key so that he doesn't see me. I really have regressed into child logic. If I can't see you, you can't see me, right? Okay, be very careful. Do not step on any of the things on the ground that might make squelching noises. Oh no. Careful. Careful, buddy. Oh, we're gonna have to pull this up. 
We're gonna have to pull this out. No, or why are we pushing? Why are we pushing? I feel like pulling out makes more sense. Go. Go. Go! Okay, B, just run. Just be prepared to run! Oh no, you have a gun! Oh my god, you have a gun! Look at you! Okay, I don't have time to look at you. Stay out of the stay out of the leaves. There could be traps. Ow. I'm dead. What was I meant to do there? Okay, oh uh, no no no. Go, 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 go. Do we have to zig and zag? Oh, we have to hide over here, but I'm trying to avoid stuff like this. It doesn't seem like stopping for any length of time is a good idea. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Okay, stay out of the leaves, please. It's a bad idea. Over here. Nope. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and down into the ditch. Do we keep running or do we just hide? You're wearing, you're wearing a sack over your head as well. And where? Yeah, how about we just stay down for a little while? And just hope that you step on one of your own bear traps. Man, you're out here playing Darkwood, and yet you still find the time to spend ammo on us. Hold left click to hold hands. Do we have to move out for it to work? Yeah, there we go. And if we hold hand... That is the single most adorable feature I've ever seen in a video game. All right, come on, you. Hide, 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 hide. Hide in the grass. Okay, we are still able to move. Stop, 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 stop. There we are, making use of that background blur. Not just to hide the scenery, but to make you seem so much more monstrous and otherworldly. That's doing exactly what a sequel should do. More of the same, just expanding on what worked and ditching what didn't. I'm just going to assume that that light means death. that right there. We've got to make a run for that hole in the ground. No, you'll just move straight back to there. So get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. There you are. Okay, good ending. Um, but maybe we move out of the way so you can't see us. You have to think you got us, right? There we are. Where do we go from here? Can we crawl through? Oh, we can even hold hands while crawling. I have learned to distrust quiet in this game. I have learned to really distrust quiet. Wait, this is the best look we're going to get at your faces. Come on now. You make it through okay? I feel so responsible for you, it's unreal. Which is why... Which is why I was... Look, this is gonna sound messed up. I was almost relieved when I thought you were supposed to get shot as part of the story. Uh, because... I am I know you're gonna do it for real at some point. I'm just not ready for that heartbreak. Uh, so this is a pickle. I don't really have a solution for this. Maybe we can grab onto this and do... Ah, there we go. Uh, so while I'm holding this, you can probably run and jump over, right? There you go. Send for help. <laughs> yeah, so that's not going to work for me. I need you to, you know, probably do something on your end. Wait, press Q to call. Oh, and then we can sort of prompt you to Okay, we're just we're just homies to the end instantly. Yep, there we go. Oh, I love you. 
You are so cool. Alright, let's go. It's clearly a game about companionship, but it's also Little Nightmares, and... It's just making me approach this whole thing with fear. Let us hide, shall we? No, 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 get back here. What are you... Stay where you are, please. You're, you're more ambitious than I am, whatever. Maybe you're just trying to keep me moving. Yeah, where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go? Yeah. Take your shot. Okay, now you'll reload. We can. I need you to climb faster than that. I need you to climb far faster than that. Why can't we? Ah! Why couldn't we go the same way as our buddy? All right, up and over. Yep. There we go. I knew you wouldn't leave me. How'd you get up here so fast, by the way? Oh, the set piece is falling all around us. Go, 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 go. And yep. You're going to be hearing a lot of Crash Bandicoot stress noises in this playthrough. Just let yourself fall. You're braver than me in some ways, comrade. Yep. Why are you so persistently after us in particular? What is this? Because it doesn't look like just water. Alright, buddy, you. Let's venture out. Oh, we can't jump in this. We can barely move. I think we should keep close to the docks. Yeah, now I would say it makes sense to crawl under here. Yeah, oh wow, you actually can. I was worried we'd have to climb up. Your weakness is that you're able to think cleverly and on your feet, but you'll never play the long game and just wait for him to go to bed or something. And that would be clearly the better idea. Uh oh Smart, smart, smart! Ah! Uh, but the controls are kind of slow, so I have to do it before you start to do it. This time we'll take a cue from our buddy, yep. And make it over here. And I imagine we can only be under for a limited length of time. Why are we... Why are we following him? Uh, they really acknowledge in all aspects that this is a two-dimensional existence. Uh, uh, a symbol of our friendship. We'll have to push it over. Is now the best time for this? I've really got to ask. You're thinking bravely, not strategically, newbie. I have much to teach you. Fine. If you're really gonna give me no choice. Come on. Oh, I had to be standing on this side? Wow, thanks. Okay, you go ahead and take your shots. No, you won't. Doing some, uh, doing some sneaky Vietnam snorkeling. And away we go, because we can never just wait for somebody to leave. Oh, that was really annoying. Had to be standing in the exact particular space. Even though he was doing the animation, even though it was pushing over farther, I wasn't standing in the spot you wanted. Birds are proving to be a real problem, constantly getting this guy's attention. What are we jumping down into? Oh, a wide open space where nothing can go wrong for certain. Down here, just crouch in the grass. Oh, this grass isn't going to hide us. Yep, there you go. One more shot. Shatters, run, run, run. Right here. Keep going, buddy. Go, 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 go. What's the range on that thing anyway? Let me help you with that. Oh, you got it all on your own. And slide the bolt. Good thing it's down here, eh? 
Uh, okay, well, life might have just gifted us something very useful. So potentially we can work together on this one. Okay, get it. Go, go, go. And... Good collab! That is horribly satisfying after what the entire rest of the franchise has been up until this point. <laughs> Fair prey. It's not murder if they're bad people, is it? I agree. I fully agree. We saved a lot of lives. Good going, pal. I love this feature so much. Have I mentioned that I think this game is really, really cute? Alright, let's go. I like also how you'll take the lead on some things. Like, you're not just following me around. Well, let's set sail. And off into the great on no oh wait no. Don't go into the water. Don't go don't go into the big water. The mall is in the big water. The mall's a bad place to be. Especially for children. And don't stick your hand in there either, I know it's tempting. But you don't know what's in there, really. Starting to see shapes in the fog. And this door is of really questionable buoyancy. I mean, this whole back half is sagging under the waves half the time. And... More TVs. Didn't the first game, I don't remember if it was the main game or the DLC, end with an image on a TV? I mean, it's been a few months since I played, so I'm fuzzy on the details, but I do seem to recall something like that. Does that have something to do with us? Oh, but I have to say, I do love this long sequence, not only getting us from one stage to the next, but also allowing us just a quiet, reflective moment with each other. Huh, and we reach not the Maw, but presumably some sort of mainland. Perhaps the place where the guests came from? Wait. No, it looks like this place is actually in quite dire and maybe abandoned shape. Has something gone wrong in their world as well? that, but transition from the escape of being together in a strange but beautiful and relaxed new setting, only to be greeted by this overwhelming sense of development and scale that towers over us and serves as no kind of relief, but almost, almost showing us that it really is going to be like this everywhere we go. Right, come with me. There's someone there. Also in front of one of these TVs. Who are you? That didn't seem nice. That didn't seem pleasant for us one bit. What was that? I would really like it if you'd stay by my side for this.
and foraged. Nature is a terrifying thing. YouTube, it's clothes, I think. I'm pretty sure that's clothes hanging from the broken TV. So don't give me monetization issues with this like you did for the previous game. Then again, it does sort of look like there could be a body attached in there, doesn't it? Like, like there's a head, something more? Actually, there's a full set of clothes right here as well. It's almost like these people poofed into the dust that we see on the floor all around us. Uh, this is very different from the environments we were seeing in the previous game, where before we were always trapped like a rat in a maze. Now we're trapped like a rat in, I don't know, vast open spaces? And more like a field mouse running from an owl, I suppose. I have to wonder, because there's been shades of this just being the state of the world as it's always been, or being some kind of like apocalyptic scenario, that the world became this way. You coming? I get real nervous when I transition into another area and you don't follow for some time. Alright, we're gonna have to bring something over here in order to get through. Uh, you can probably boost me, if that's your plan, but I would really rather drag one of these TVs over. All right, it's all on us now. We better make this jump. We better. Wait, did something happen back there? Did something happen back there? I heard you make a noise. Oh, I see, no! I don't see what, oh, and lifts us up. Right, let's get a good swing going, and yep. Once again, perspective giving me problems, kind of inherent. Yeah, you can stop calling. I didn't forget about you. Let me lower this down, and oh, we're not gonna we're not gonna boost you through that wall. We're gonna raise you right over here. Yep. Just be careful, will ya? And maybe we can find a way to meet up on the other side. Hmm. That's quite a gap to jump. I am trusting you big time here. Thank you. Oh, you are very strong. That floor is sloped downward and you're barefoot. You must have planted your feet like your, well, like my life depended on it, so thank you. I believe Little Nightmares 3 has been announced and is also primarily a co-op game. I don't know if I'm going to play that one, uh, but it does seem like uh, they were happy with the results of what happened here. Uh, this is just where you came from. I don't know if there's going to be any... There is a collectible you looking down but what do you do you're like some kind of like scan line shadow of somebody going through the same motions as us and the same thing happens to us only briefly run 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 jump yep It'll never not startle me 
when I go into another room and there's something big there. I, I do like, though, how these games actually utilize the camera in an effective way. Actually, this sort of implies, doesn't it, uh, that even the already dead were taken away and that they knew something was coming. Oh, please be careful. Oh no, the TV is doing something to us. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Am I supposed to make my way towards you? WASD to tune transmission. It's the hallway we saw at the beginning. We've got to straighten it out. Hmm. Our goal is probably to get closer, right? So that happened. And that. I'm wondering if those things aren't maybe like shadows of ourselves somehow. Ah, uh, you're doing the hallway slow dream run. And you pull me out of it. So while that's happening, I'm still physically here. Thank you. I'm sorry to scare you. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, that bar looks interactive, actually. Oh, I see. There's a thing back there. You could have climbed it. You could have climbed it. All right, well, this comes over to here. And now we can make our way around. I don't like the look of this place. I do like the look of it as a thumbnail. Hang on, wait, let's maybe get your silhouettes more pronounced. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. And I certainly recognize that eye. But I don't understand. My assumption was that the witch lady at the mall was keeping us to be used as food for the guests. And, well, she also uses the guests as food for the guests. Presumably it was all to feed her own youth. Why would one of her places exist here unless... And maybe that place wasn't hers originally. I do want to understand not only what the giants are, but what place the children actually serve in this world. Also, these doors are not nearly as giant as some of the others we've been encountering. All right, so if we can't go in that way, what do we do? I see a tire swing over there, or a regular swing over there. Come on, let's play for a while. There's an eye on that bench, too. Does that maybe mean something? It doesn't seem to indicate, like, a collectible or anything. Oh, you'll just you'll just sit right there. Oh look, there's all chalk drawings on the dumpster. And another of you right here. Well the game saves when we touch you. Oh, I just noticed there's a there's a rope ladder over there. You think you can climb one of these? 
Uh, let's see what's inside. Though I have no idea why we'd see fit to enter. There's no way this city is entirely abandoned. Well, the lights are on. And they're burning something in this bucket. Doesn't seem safe, given the construction materials used. Oh, and there's just barricades all through the halls. And those portraits have made quite a return. Those are some nightmarish looking toys, but the bunks remain empty. And they're quite large. Are these? It's almost like they're for like regular sized children. Is this like some kind of orphanage? Hang on, wait, can we? First of all, can we take this creepy little doll? Because I do actually kind of like it. Maybe push this thing off the shelf. Oh, you're playing with blocks. Or these blocks are needed for something. This one has an eye on it. Yeah, there's a bit more of a focus on exploration in this part, rather than just set pieces. Yeah, all of you were there in the previous game. Yep. And we turn the lights off. Why did we want to do that? We can turn them back on, too. But maybe the darkness reveals something? You know, that you're not just missing your eyes on the portrait, there is something beyond that wall. Maybe, ooh, maybe we can Shawshank Redemption this thing? And throw something through you to reveal what's there? Hang on, wait, you might have actually had the right idea with these blocks. Let's take one and give it a throw. Or maybe we should use the baby doll and scare the crap out of whoever's on the other side. Try and keep up. Stand right here and... Yep! There we go. I don't like the look of this and I don't think we should be here. Yep, that's what I thought. Wee! <laughs> Ooh. So now we're here. I can't tell if those are just the rumblings of the pipes, or if there is someone walking around on this floor. All I know is that the longer we go without seeing who the big boss of this level is, and there will be one, like 100%, the more on edge I get. Let me just move around this part of the floor because I do not trust it. We also don't have our own light source in this game, which is a little odd. But I suppose we don't really need it. Help me with this. Getting darker and darker, I spoke too soon. And we're getting deeper and deeper. Let's look before we leap, shall we? Oh look, an ominous light on just around the corner. Well, that can't be the location of this section's big reveal, just couldn't. Be. Oh my god. No matter how many times I prepare for it, no matter how many different things these games show us, I'm never ever ready for the reveal. That's not even the reveal, that's the tease, but the tease is always the worst part. No. 
No, the part where they start chasing you tends to be worse, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, maybe we can pull that down to make something happen. Yep! Okay, so... Whoever lives here is home alone this thing. Or if there are any kids left, maybe they're home alone this thing for the giant monster they're forced to share a space with. I, I didn't see what... Oh, th there is somebody else here. I was gonna say, I didn't see what triggered that. Maybe we can... Maybe we can make some friends in here? Where'd you go? Come on, we only want to help. Nope! Do you maybe want to, like, so show some sort of reaction here? Like, you know... Dodging, or ducking, or really anything that would show that you have any desire to stay alive? I see you down there. Yes, there's a few of you. Uh, but video game logic dictates that I check over here first. Yep. You know, you guys aren't great with the whole traps thing. Maybe they'd be more effective against a bigger enemy. Can we get through there? There must be some reason why we could come this way. Forget it. Let's go after them. And keep an eye out for what's going to swing on down. Yep, that's what I thought. Listen, I just want to talk. I really do just want to talk. And I feel like by now you should have realized that. Please get over here. Please get over here. This is a very dark place and I don't want to do it alone. Maybe a show of friendship will help. No! Ow! Oh, and yet you remain fine. That was the moment you decided to duck. Literally, now that I think about it. Okay, I'm probably meant to hide in here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the perspective makes that kind of look like it's not going to work. Yep. Yeah. Is that supposed to be a picture of the bloody mess that we were supposed to be turned into? Alright, maybe we can use the off-camera camera to see what you're... Yeah, I see the swing trap there. So we need to run around this way. Oh no, it's just wire running along the ceiling. I hear you guys snickering out there. Why are we continuing to even pursue you? It's not even worth it at this point. Yeah. Yep. Yeah! And I've been captured. Oh, you're- Oh, no, you are not- You are not kids like me. You are totally feral. All right, well, our direction just changed. We are going the other way. This way, this way, this way. Yeah, this way. Oh. Okay, well, obviously... They came back for me. They came back for me, and so we are doing the same. Howdy, partner! Oh, I thought I could tackle you and maybe beat some answers out of you. I thought that was the point of what we were getting at here. However, we do have another solution. Howdy there, bucko! I know that doesn't spell death for you. Some of you had already had that done to you. So I'm just waiting for the moment you'll get back up. Huh, actual combat, huh? The last part of the DLC sort of toyed with this in kind of an Alan Wakey fashion. Okay, so doing the logical thing and going back doesn't work. Yep. 
Yeah, one thing I'm not particularly liking about this one is that, and it's not a huge deal, but it is definitely leaning more into the trial and error side of things than the first game, where the first game I would usually narrowly survive things on the first try. This one, it's pretty much like always, it's gonna kill you the first time. All right, please pick this thing up. I do not want to leave it here. You're gonna get in the way of it and I, I can't take it with me? Thank you. But it seems I can't take it anyway. The problem is that it really screws with the pacing. Put it down. Put it down. Okay, well, there's something in that locker. I mean, I saw it. And we need a key to access that. Presumably, it's an elevator. Hmm. Now, I will say they're also doing something really interesting where the very premise of this is pretty different. I mean, it just plays both in terms of what we're doing and how we go about doing it than just hiding from giant monsters that made up every level of the previous one. Of course, there's plenty of room for that, too. Oh, it's like a school. A boarding school, but a school nonetheless. Where this teacher teaches her class of broken dolls. And for once, we're trying to make sure we're not marked on the attendance sheet. We need to know exactly where we're going. It's a good thing those folders are there. Or there's a very real possibility that we would have pushed the door open and- Oh, no, 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 no! I don't know how you spotted me, or what I was supposed to do about that. I thought she had spotted me. If I just wait around here, will you come automatically? Oh, no, 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 go, 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 go! Well, that's probably not good. Uh, can we climb up this? No, 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 oh, now we need to be in there. Can we hide behind here? Will that work as well? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh my. Oh my, well, now we've gotta sneak back the way we came. Uh, who's to say those little gremlins aren't gonna be on alert as well now? Oh, we've got that, not a sledgehammer in sight. I've always gotten the impression that uh, all the creatures in this game sort of have their thing. They all kind of rule over their own little world. Oh, that leads back into this cupboard. Okay, I'm gonna need you to slowly crawl on out of there. Oh, she's gonna be patrolling around now. It is not gonna be as easy going out as coming in. Changed some. Oh, no, never mind. Sorry, it's just I thought you were reaching under there with this. do something like here, you're gonna reach your thing underneath, right? Oh, you're putting it over the top of the desk? I, it looked very much... Oh, it actually is clipping through it. That's why. Right, so now we make our way out and through here. And away we go. I'm gonna keep crouching for a little while because I don't know what your hearing range is. And get out. I 
And I'm guessing you're going to hear these doors open, right? What is that? That looks like an art piece that's been, like, forked onto the back of this desk. I can hear something in the opposite room. And we can see the shadows from the tree branches outside clawing at the window panes. You're, like, tied to here. Wearing a dunce cap, are you? We have nothing to smash you with. So we may just have to play nice. Well, there is something to smash you with. And potentially that door. But we're gonna have to get it from you. And quickly move away! And, oh, come on. So, was I supposed to hit you first? So, what happens if we do get your attention then? Let's make noise. Get you to run towards me. Your chain will be yanked. Takes a second for you to get up. Yep. Which will allow us to run past you. Okay, maybe that's the time we need to grab it. Question is just how far can you go? No, you can come way too far in this direction for us to get it from there. You fall down, we run over here, grab this thing, and maybe don't even bother to fight you, maybe just leave, abscond, and then we can smash you! Thus gaining a, a bit of an advantage. We didn't have to do that, but you know, after all these attempts, I kind of wanted to. There we go. The problem I'm having with this game's gameplay in comparison with the first one is that where in the first you could sort of bail yourself out of a jam and think on your feet, with this it feels like certain things are designed to trip you up and like meant to be completed on the second or third attempt, which is sort of inherently unimmersive. It, like dying takes you out of it. So I don't really like the more trial and error style of it. Oh. You're hitting a lot more frequently. I don't even want to imagine what's going on down there. Yeah, that's not good. Let's go over here, through here, through here. In, in, in. Get in! Uh, your extendo head. It's so much worse than the extendo hands. I don't much care for the sounds, either. We're gonna be knocking over more stuff on the way down, too. Alright, well, if we can... crawl across here... Can we maybe, like, pick this up? There we go. And just... gently place it right here. Thank you, that won't trigger an issue from you, no? Okay. Well, at least a little bit of planning does get us through that segment. I can see they put a box there. For in case we did draw her ire. What is that in the corner? Hang on, it looks like there's... something there. Are those supposed to be, like, little stuffed toys or something? I guess... somebody managed to get up here at some point. This is going to make noise. Knocking this board down is going to make noise. Yep! Just how extendy are you? I'm not sticking around to find out. Just what this game needed. Another extendo enemy in a library. 
Well, this sucks more than a little bit. Alright, we can climb up here. Oh, we can slide it down as well. This is the kind of scenario where sooner or later your extendo head is going to come up right in front of us, isn't it? Yep, that's what I kind of thought. Okay, run, 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 run! Don't let her bite you. Through here! Yep. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go! I always struggle with when I should be making the transition to a more stealthy approach. How about never? Oh, this perspective is going to make this hard. Yep. Yeah. Okay, around the other side. Around this way. Just bring it around town. And jump! And, yeah, good, thank you. Okay, so even though we should have been able to grab on there, we can use the lower part. Jump to here. That stack of books ain't going to help us, but where are we going then? No, seriously, where are we going? Oh. You're just kind of creeping around. Maybe we can make it over to there. Run, 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 run. Uh, we could also, we could hide in that box. Hide in the box. Could hide in the box. Could hide in the box. If you could just move just a little bit. Okay, checkpoint right here. Uh, so, and you're just coming right out. Okay, kind of wish you'd done that before when I was here instead of waiting half an hour so that I go to investigate. Uh, but I guess now we can go through here and see what your neck of the woods is like. Sorry, that was a bad pun. Also, the camera just won't follow us. So presumably there's something we can do over here, right? Well, we can push this. You really want me to follow her. Look, I know we're trying to get our friend back and all, but what makes you so sure that she has her? I mean, her friend was last seen being brought up to the next floor. And there's more of that burning bucketness. Why? What is it that's being burned? I'm getting real bad flashbacks to the end of the last DLC. Actually, there's a shadow up on the wall right, right where the clock would have been hanging. Is that just supposed to be a stain, or is there something being projected? And a keyhole right here. Well, let's begin the search. Not liking those sounds. Not liking those sounds one bit. Is that a pawn? Are these chess pieces? Uh, I really hope it's not going to call on me to remember how to play chess. Well, they'll no doubt be used in something. Can I pick you up and, like, place you back on top? There we go. Huh. Well, that was a little less complicated than chess. Before I open that door, maybe I'll go see what's around the other way. Hmm, we could... knock those bottles off. And another one to use, guys. Yep. Well, at least you're tied to the piece, right? The ropes sort of indicate that we can push you about. 
I guess we can't. I get the impression that this was some sort of punishment. Alright, where are we going? Probably up onto this desk, this table, to get that thing, right? Do we need to maybe complete one of these things so that we can jump on top of it? Or maybe it is just a set piece. Or a clue. Alright. Well, it looks like the kids got up to some mischief in here. We can bring this back to the board. Or at least its component. So we need one of you down here. You're the black piece. And we need... Oh, well, actually, you would go right here, according to that. Uh, and can we maybe take the other piece from the one outside? We can. So where do you go? Uh, on the right. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. If we take you off and let you be wrong for now, then we could put that other one here and then use that as a table. There we go. Okay, I'm liking this puzzle design. There we go. So you were over here. You were right here. And the other guy was meant to go on the bottom. Are you going to wake up on me? No, but something just unlocked. And is that light that I'm seeing from behind these uh, cabinets or bookshelves? They are on wheels. Maybe we can push from the other side. Oh, wait. Maybe... Only because in the first game, your flickering meant that I could use you in that DLC room. So maybe... There we go. I would never have figured that out if I hadn't played the DLC of the first game. Oh, there's our key. I imagine this was yet another of many punishment rooms. Camera kind of made me think you were going to pull something right there. Kind of thankful that you didn't. Do you think we'd survive a fall from this height? Because my gaming instinct, besides getting jump scared by those shadows, is that uh, jumping down is a better idea just because it's the shorter path between points. Oh, please let us find our friend. Oh no. Oh no, flashbacks to the kitchen. Oh, we can get up there probably by rolling this thing over. It sounds like monsters, animals, but something tells me it's just the sound of animalistic dining. I don't get these things, really. Like, they're clearly subservient to the teacher, but... What is... Like, what's the nature of the whole relationship? Why are they attacking me? Do they do as they're told, lest they be punished? I mean, I'll do it, but it doesn't feel good. It feels kind of good. Oh, wait, you're there. Nope, no, no. Controls, please. Controls. Ugh. That little pause right before. That's the key. And sometimes we just get a straight-up decapitation. Uh, does that count as actually winning this? 
Is there any winning in this world? Oh, wait, look, 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 look. You see more of them moving around back there. Oh, we can climb under here. Thank you for keeping that directly off camera. Yeah, no, see, no, see, that's not the thing. So I don't know how we deal with that. Oh, we have to do this again? Cool. Oh. Oh, you can put on the head. Okay, well, thank you for making that clear. All right, well, I guess that means we can probably sneak through here then. I guess they treat each other the same way they treat me. Not even eating, really, just kind of playing with their food, but make the food for them she does. Wow, we can actually see our face quite clearly through this thing. Oh, it's an absolute madhouse. Although I will say, it looks like every... It looks like every horrible orphanage in every kid's movie I've ever seen. And which I suppose is probably where the inspiration comes from. I always did love these moments in the original! Saw it coming. All those moments where you were just in amongst the madness and you got a look firsthand at what kind of place it was you were in. Ow. Well, I guess we can feel a little less bad knowing, knowing that they're exactly as horrible to each other as they are to me. Or, I guess, sometimes. They play, they pretend to eat, it's like an imitation of school life. I gotta wonder if maybe this behavior isn't some kind of, like, enforced thing on the part of the teacher. I mean, she does seem to be indulging in some kind of fantasy, maybe that's the idea? And that was fun while it lasted. Okay, so we probably gotta... That either opens the door or calls an elevator. Either way, we need to find something we can throw at it. Maybe we can throw that or maybe we're supposed to stand on it? Well, we can't do either now. Luckily, we can still climb this. Hmm. Okay, we've got to make the jump over to there and climb up those shelves. Yeah. Oof. We're not quite high up enough for comfort, but we should be able to make it. Yep, there we are. That is a brain in a jar. Just a straight up brain preserved in formaldehyde. I'm gonna make sure you don't end up being used for whatever messed up purposes you'd end up being used for. Even the smashing sounded gross. Mm. <laughs> well. I guess we could use the brain itself. Oh, look at it. It's even got like rubbery like physics to it. Are you sure it'll actually push the button? I would imagine something like this would just kind of wetly slap against it. Oh, there we are. I hate walking through glass barefoot. And John McClane, we're not. What are these things you've got in these jars? Oh, frogs. Is it time for a biology class? 
Okay, we need you to move away so that I can make a run for one of these other tables. But what would get your attention? I was kind of surprised that the door opening and closing didn't do anything. You know, something I've been thinking about since we arrived here is the fact that seeing a 12-hour clock is actually significant. Right, but what do you want from us? Uh, now you're going and walking away. Okay, so over this way. Into, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, go, go. I need you to go back to where you came from. Or we're going to end up another specimen on that table. No, you're going entirely the wrong way. I mean, it's better for me overall. Assuming you're not coming back. Will that door be left ajar? It will. Okay, straight into safety. I don't think I need to be crouching as much as I am, but it certainly feels like I need to. Yeah, this feels very, very much like the kitchen from the first game. I wonder if sometimes the lack of movement on the part of these enemies isn't partly because I'm not moving up as much as I'm supposed to be. But if we try to walk behind you, we're going to be entirely off camera. I'll try it, because we just got a checkpoint. But I don't like this one bit. No, it's stopping me from moving at this point. We do just have to move in front of you. Which is going to leave us wide open and vulnerable in the event that you decide to try some shenanigans. Is something here. Those brains are regular sized, which means that the other one was me sized. Okay, oh, this sucks. We need to get up onto this table. Uh, what's our strategy for doing that? I'm still not confident in that jump in the least. Oh, wait, is that door maybe ajar? Nope, and we're dead. And we are 100% dead. Now would actually be a good opportunity to test. Is it possible to escape you? It, oh, we, we're not getting through that way. But we can't escape. It is doable. The only way I can see to actually get up here is to climb up these, because the books aren't working. Which means I'm gonna have to... I'm going to have to cause you some issues. Yeah, it looks like we can actually push these things over. Let's try it all the way this time. Oh, we literally, we can't. You'll do the animation, then it'll move, but we can't. Okay, so let's try hiding off to the right side here. We'll do that. Now you're moving off. But there's still... I'm gonna have to make noise to jump over there. I am just gonna have to. That got a response, but not necessarily the worst one. I'm just waiting to see if you'll go back farther. Probably not, I'm guessing. I, oh, that way you slowly creep around. Why is my character backpedaling like this? And away we go. Goodbye. Later. Later, Tater. And we're out. Well, the sledgehammer can only mean one thing. 
we've got more atrocities to commit. Ow! Okay, so learn from before and scout ahead with the arrow keys. There is a third sneaky one of you up on the locker, which means... Oh, that looks like it's also a trap. Um, so, yeah, so that means we're going to have to do more of this atrocious combat. Let's do that. That'll get you. Pick this up. Pick it up. Pick it up! Do your thing! Okay, thankfully it's generous with the timing. And there we go. I've really grown, in like my million attempts with the kitchen fight, I've really grown to hate this active combat thing because if there's one thing wrong with the perspective or the choreography, it, it just doesn't work. Uh, you're gonna make me do it from this perspective. Yep. Oh, that'll be real annoying. There we go. I was in the animation, so sometimes it... Well, now we get to come back to here, but aren't we so much more in the moment now? Right, you. There we go. Problem is, we need to rely on you to jump into us, but I can't see how far away you are when the perspective is like this. Is somebody going to jump out of the locker? Yep, they are. Oh, but we swung too soon. Good thing you waited. There we go. We definitely need to do it, like, while you're in your prep. But that's far from a sure thing is the issue. Let's watch these lockers behind us. Come on. And if you're holding the sledge, you can't respond to that in time. All right, now let's go back for the sledge, because I do not trust this game to not have to need it anymore after we had to ditch it. And, uh... Oh, there, there, there's our friend! Okay, uh, uh, don't shake your butt at me. Hang on, wait, turn around. Right. And, uh, well, good thing that killed you when I started the animation, because otherwise there would have been nothing I could do about that. All right, well, let's, let's get this down. Actually, we can probably use the sledgehammer to smash this down, right? You may want to put your hands on top of your head. That looked uncomfy. This feels like... This feels like a response to the frustrations chasing the kid with the flashlight in the DLC for the previous game. Like, actually getting to be a hero for once. It, we never really got many opportunities for that before. Alright, you're coming with me. Out the window with us. That teacher may not have gotten any comeuppance, but uh, we've gone right in the front of this place and out the back. Of course, I do still need your help. Looks like somebody managed it before. I'm sorry, I was just waiting here because I was expecting this thing to break and I'd have to go back for you. What is this? This feels like the kind of thing where there will be consequences for stepping on the keys. Uh, but we do have this lever over here. Okay, even with the pulley system, that's some impressive strength. Uh, if only a certain educator were to be standing under that in this moment. Ah, uh, admiring the craftsmanship of this fine instrument? I suppose this means we can climb up now. I'm sorry, that did something in the last game. 
Oh, wow, it actually did get us an achievement. My, what a curious song you play. Well, <laughs> jump it up it up. May not be a trampoline, but it's fun. Oh, we need to synchronize our jumps. And down we go. Well, that's one kind of elevator. You're braver than I am, that's for sure. But we have to begin the search for yet another key. Uh, somebody's gonna have to boost somebody up, I think. Painful as it is to leave each other again. I don't have a way to deal with you. I see a way to deal with you. But you're gonna respond faster than I can. Oh, you're using it to, like, dissect that frog. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, we are we are a real team now. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're dead. Uh, now there's the issue of getting this up, which now that we're on both sides, we can do. I, I really love the way the teamwork mechanic has been presented here. Now, no longer us just directing an army of little gnomes, but actually an equal, who even take some proactive steps on their own. Which is pretty cool. I don't suppose I can go back and get that pipe. Is it time for music class? Oh no, 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 don't think you can go and Far Cry this thing. Leave that to me! Okay, perhaps you could go and Far Cry this thing. That's supposed to be disturbing, but honestly it helps. It helps a lot. And I'm not gonna act like it's a problem. It's not a problem, is it? This game has ways of foreshadowing problems that way. Why are you continuing to play that music while I turn my back to you? We're homies, right? I saved your life multiple times. Scout ahead. Okay. <laughs> For a second I was like, why'd you stop playing? I don't like it when I hear you stop like that. I know it just pauses between between segments, but it still makes me think that I've maybe made some noise that I shouldn't have. All right, look out below. And now you can climb up here. All right, let's do this. See, the thing is, normally that wouldn't have bothered me before. It's just the music that is making me well aware that they're setting us up to not trust this friend. Uh, let's... Mm -hmm. If we could climb down, that would be better than making a bunch of noise. I believe in the first game, landing on cloth did muffle it. Likely gotta fall during songs. Floorboards are creaky. It's red light, green light. A 
Okay, so that thing slides. This is here. Oh, we can lower that beam so you can cross. But let's play it cautiously. Oh, look, they're up there, like, leaning forward in anticipation, not even waiting it for it to be entirely down. You're gonna make your way across. I don't like these moments. It's the sneaking that's somehow worse than the chasing. Oh, let me up, let me up. Let me, uh, oh, you're really gonna make me do this. This floorboard is creaky. Oh, this thing moves a bit more rapidly than I would like. Uh, don't play the sound of that heartbeat game. Don't play that sound. If only we could just drop this whole thing up above on your head. It's not gonna get any closer. No. Okay. I think that should be us more or less good then, but let's not count our chickens before I hatch. I don't know what I just did to that sentence, but you get the idea. You can't fit your head in here, can you? Oh, you sorta can! You sorta can! You sorta can! Go, 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 Oh, there's a sorta sprint. Go, 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 go. Please don't try to crane yourself up through here. Or better yet, this thing could collapse and break your neck. I mean, that would definitely, like, kill you instantly, right? Thanks, Leia, for helping me swing across the gap. That's the little nightmares I remember. Uh, come on, let me out. You seem a little worse for wear after that. You don't seem to like the heavy rain. Here, let's hold hands and reaffirm our friendship. So that you'll never do to me what you did to that mannequin boy thing. street is like entirely collapsed into itself. Just think, any one of these buildings could contain a nightmare just as bad as the one we just exited. You truly never know what you're walking into. Thankfully there's at least something here. Unfortunately I think we're gonna have to go single file for this. So let's be very very careful. This game sure knows how to make every single frame something to remember. It may not be the strongest in terms of gameplay, but even as far as the gameplay, I can certainly appreciate the ambition and the art, the enemies, the level design. It's all so much better than before, not to mention the story. I just look at you, like, try to bundle up. I mean, maybe it would be a good idea to just take shelter from the rain somewhere. Uh, clearly we can jump into this dumpster. Any reason why we'd want to? Or maybe we can grab this bar. Uh, and try and push this thing to the side. There we go. Uh, that rock is in the way. 
and we cannot move it. We could push it forward. Okay, after basically everything else in the game could only... Okay. Alright. Fine. Alright, let's get going. You can make it up here, right? There we go. I'm gonna assume that you're exactly as acrobatic as me. Oh, but that still doesn't necessarily help us. We need a little bit more than that. Oh, well, if we just... Since we can push it forward, we're no longer bound by this rock, then. But we are bound by that thing directly in front of us. Oh, we can make it just only barely. Alright, well, we are out. The more distance we put between that place and ourselves, the better. But something tells me it doesn't really make all that much difference. Hello, another hat. Another one of you. We've got this now. Oh, but we can't take it with us? Okay, can we... Can we give it to you? Would you maybe like a hat? I guess not. Hello, shrieking, vomiting face. Aren't you appropriate for this fine, stormy night? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. It is you. You've been shivering this entire time. I bet you'd like a raincoat, wouldn't you? That's what I thought. Although, wait. That begs the question. True colors, you never know when you need protection from the elements. And that theme, the soundtrack, add that to the list of things that's just incredible in this game. But, yeah, now that has me wondering, when does this take place? Is this before or after you got your psycho crazy lady powers? It's got to be before, right? Because I don't see you pulling any of that stuff in the orphanage. Right, well, uh, maybe with a boost we can open any door. There we are. As long as we're together, at least those are not a problem. Alright, so, just to reiterate, either this is before, and what happened to me, or this is after, and you're not telling me everything you know. Well, at least you have some sort of protection now. Although, one would think, no matter how big they are, we'd pick up some of these many shoes that are on the ground. Maybe they want to be able to run. Yes, I see you doing that. It's just it feels like this could be pulled down. I guess not. Get away. Let's just try not to screw this up too bad. Down here, down here. Yep, I'm here to help. Seems like the more logical solution would be to push this down rather than you clinging onto those bars. There we go. And we out. Or in, as the case may be. Hang on, why does this not want to seem to work? Usually teamwork makes the dream work. Why isn't this thing opening? There we go. And right back into it. All these little hints. We almost never see anyone else. That's why this little relationship is so special. But we always, always see hints of the others who came before us, knowing that there are so many out there doing this. And that it usually doesn't end well for them.
This feels familiar. Like we've been staring up at the one light from a giant imposing structure just in the recent past. If memory serves, it didn't go well for us. But this seems like something that will have to be picked up next time. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, we will see you in the next one. Please stay, my friend.